What is up, my true sad gang? It's your girl, Diddy the True Sad, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell, and comment down below what you'd like to see from your girl. Also, if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. So, guys, I have special guests today that want to say hi. Starting off with the youngest, where is she? Come on, Allie. Come here. It's small, yeah. Come say hi. Okay. hi. That's Aaliyah, y'all. Y'all niece Aaliyah. They just came and surprised me, so let me uh, let the other one say hi. <laughs> she crazy. Okay, and then hold on, give me a second. Now, the second person would like to say hi. Yes, that is Allie Bally, y'all. I got my glasses. She got her glasses. And there's one more person. That Somebody needs else? Are you going to say hi? Or are you not feeling good? She doesn't feel good, you guys. So, let me see. Okay. Come on, everybody. Come say hi. No, you don't want to say hi? She don't look like she feel good at all. She doesn't. That's my little brother, you guys. We're not going to say his name for privacy. Alicia. You don't know my name. She doesn't feel good, you guys. Prayer hands for my oldest, y'all. She does not feel good. So please drop down in the comment sections. Prayer hands because she does not feel good. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, guys, so uh, real fast, I want to do my post notification shout outs when I get back because um, the kids did come, so I want to, you know, talk to them for a little bit. And my oldest is not feeling good, so I'm about to do mommy mode for a second. But if y'all want a post notification shout out, all you have to do is positively comment down anything down below. You can say hi and I will shout you out. Yes, my first post on the, hold on. My first post on notification shout out goes to Lady T. Thank you so much for commenting on my last video. You was the only one that did comment. I really appreciate you. I wish you nothing but good abundance, good health, and good wealth for the rest of 2023 for you and your family. My second post notification shout out goes to Hold on. She wants to say bye, guys. Bye, I'll leave. They leave. Give me love, too, because I was just coughing. Right. Bye. She what said bye. True Sash Gang, that's their names every day. Okay, y'all, uh, my second post notification shout-out goes to my three beautiful kids that just left out of here. I love you so much. Thank you so much for coming to visit me. I appreciate y'all for showing me love. Mommy loves y'all all the time i miss y'all so so much even though y'all are leaving just now i still miss y'all because i need to just be with y'all and i will be with y'all soon very soon so i wish y'all nothing but good abundance good health and good wealth for the rest of 2023 for y'all and our family and my third post notification shout out goes to my baby brother for bringing the my kids here. I appreciate you so much, brother. Thank you so much for helping mom with the girls. I really, really, really appreciate you. I wish you nothing but good abundance, good health, and good wealth for the rest of 2023 for you and our family, period. So, y'all, my oldest couldn't even talk to y'all. And y'all know at least she'll say a little joke to y'all or something. She couldn't even say nothing, y'all. She was just standing there. My baby did not feel good. And that hurts me. Comment down below, are y'all the type of parent that hates for your kids to be sick, but you also hate for your kids to get hurt? That is so me. Like, I just wanted to get her in the bed and just rock her. Yes, her being 13. Yes, her being that big. I wanted to do it. I don't care how tall she get. She's always going to be my baby. So, 
and I know a lot of people saying, well, that's just dumb. You're going to get sick too. I would take my baby's sickness. I would take my kid's pain. I would do that because you know why? I am the adult. I'm supposed to protect y'all from any and everything. So I don't mind taking my kid's sickness because guess what? I could be at home healing instead of them missing like school or them missing like fun time to go to church and go hang out with their friends. I'd rather take that away. I got to do all that stuff when I was younger. So why not take that away now, you know? But I love my babies and my baby brother. He was, he wanted to be in the video. I just couldn't say his name because I don't want his mom or his dad to get, you know, angry and stuff, you know, just for his safety. I don't know if anybody go to school with him or just people will end up, you know. My kids are usually with me, so if anything go down, I could do what I gotta do. He lives in two states. Uh, this is the first year that he's living out here with us because my mom is married to his dad and he gets to spend the school year with us for the first time. And he's usually with his mom in a whole nother state. So I've been having, you know, fun seeing him. He got to stay the weekend when the girls stay. And that's my baby brother, period. So, my baby baby made me a note. It says, I love you, mom. I don't care. I could get so many letters from my kids. But let's get into this video. The video that the video for today, Vlogtober. Day 19. Can't believe that I only missed one day this month and we still get it. We still get it, okay? So, Vlogtober Day 19, we are doing the best indoor Halloween decorations. 36 spooky and chic designs to uplift your home. So, as always, I'm going to read each decoration I will put the link in the description down below if you would like to do some of these and yeah so the first one says pumpkins a simple sorry a symbol of not only Halloween decor but fall decor ideas and Thanksgiving decor too you can't celebrate Halloween without plenty of pumpkins. Okay. The next one says wreaths. Traditionally, traditionally used for Halloween door decor and crafted from fall flowers and foliage to celebrate the changing of the seasons. Wreaths are a favorite for outdoor Halloween decor, but they can also be used to bring beautiful decorations into the home too. And they give you different type of wreaths from $20 to almost $200. So, the next one is garlands. Hanging a Halloween garland is a quick and easy way to uplift your home for the season. Whether you opt out for a natural design that coordinates with the foliage and flowers of your chosen wreath or choose a more contem contemporary style, gar garlands 
can be hung pretty much anywhere in the home. And they got garlands for $34 to $300. Next one is tableware. It says if you're looking for more suitable, sorry, yeah, su- suitable Halloween decor ideas, then embracing beautiful Halloween table decor can be a great way to bring seasonal charm into your home. Can Oh, into your home. And it will no doubt impress your guests if you're planning on doing plenty of entertaining throughout the season. And they have tableware from $10 all the way to $100. Next one is lights and lanterns. Lights and lanterns can only act as standalone decorations in their own right. They can also help to eliminate your other Halloween decorations too. And they have some from $11 all the way to hundred and nineteen dollars next are candles just like lights and lanterns cozy candles can help to bring a beautiful glow and sense of warmth into your home for Halloween as well as inviting seasonal scent too And they got candles from $24 to $100. Next one says fun decorations. Of all the holidays, Halloween really is the time to go all out with seasonal seasonal, seasonal decor that invokes an atmosphere of fun and humor. And they have some first. $10 all the way to $100. Ain't no way. We're done? It said 36 Oh, wow. We are done, y'all. And then once you see the numbers, you'll see how they're... All of the ones that I was saying through like $10 to 100 they're counting those as 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 36 That's crazy. Okay. Well, we're done. <laughs> it's not a long video. I will be definitely letting you guys know some more decor uh, decorations. If I could get some more for in home, I would definitely uh, look at some maybe from like one store and we can um, do that tomorrow or tomorrow I'm going to do the indoor de de decorations for Halloween. So, yeah. Um, I love you guys, and it's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell. Don't forget, it's the end of the video, and I'm one of the only ones that tell you when you turn on that post notification bell, you gotta go in there and select all because it doesn't do it for you. So you gotta turn on that post notification bell, go in there and select all so you miss my lives, my shorts, my mug banks, my challenges, anything that I choose to post. You, your beautiful or handsome self, will not miss it. Also, follow me on my social medias. It's down in the description down below. And make sure that you 
share my GoFundMe link that's in the description down below. All I ask is that you guys donate one dollar so you can help me get back to those beautiful three girls that you just seen in this video at the beginning. I would love to go home with them. I became homeless in the hospital. If you would like to learn more, make sure that you click the link and go read the bio so you can learn more about me and my babies. And also, please share that GoFundMe with your family and your friends and let them know it is just a mother trying to get back to her daughters. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.